Hi everybody, today we will be doing a talking vlog. So if you think this video is not appropriate for you, better to skip it and go to the next video. I'm Ira. Welcome to my life. So lately I've been getting a lot of questions about how's my life in Japan, how is it being married to a Japanese man, something like those stuff. So I've come up to an idea of why not make a video about it and uh, maybe you know somebody who is planning to marry a Japanese man like I want them to please take note of these um, tips or something like learnings that I have learned for my four years living here in Japan these are the things that I wish I knew before I married my husband just a disclaimer I am NOT a Japanese man expert and as what I've said I'm still four years in it here in Japan I still have a lot of things to learn so these things that I'm going to tell you for today's vlog is just my personal experience and my personal learning and I am not generalizing all of the Japanese men just so you know <laughs> number one do not marry a Japanese man if, girl, you are a princess at home. Yes, you do the cooking. Yes, you do the cleaning. Yes, you do everything. There is no housemaid here, okay? Housemaids are not Japanese people's thing. There are no neighbors. There are no in-laws. No other relatives that can help you but yourself. Only yourself. And there are also no ready-made street foods that you can buy for five pesos or ten pesos and then tala no there is no like that you have to make food from first to end yes and i've also heard this from somewhere that maybe from the news yeah that some japanese guys will really divorce women who can't cook who can't clean when we talk about cooking, you also have to learn their food, their menus because um, you can't just feed them like the kinds of food that you were used to eat. Like mine, I came from Philippines and I can't feed my husband dried fish. Some of the foods that I am used to eat are not so my husband's type. So you really have to learn number two do not marry a Japanese man if you are not flexible when I say flexible something like you are open to any changes like you can adjust to different kinds of situation for example um let's just say um the seasons I came from a tropical country so I'm just used with hot and rainy season but in Japan, there, there are four seasons, winter, spring, summer, fall. And also like with the way they live their life. You have to consider that you are going to transfer from one world to another. Because when you come to Japan, the people are different. Their language is different. The way they live their life is different. And also like the way, they're the way they celebrate their Christmas, their Valentine's Day are very different from ours. In Philippines, we celebrate New Year, Christmas, lively. But in Japan, they will just eat and then sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's very weird. And their Christmas is considered as their couple day. And their Valentine's Day is reversed. It should be girls who will do the first move to the men. Number three, do not marry a Japanese man if you are not open to learn their language if you are lazy to learn the japanese language don't just think about yourself think also about your future what if you will have kids in the future what if you need to bring your your kids to the hospital to the school you have to speak the japanese language it's not the japanese people it's not japan which will or who will adjust for you it should be you who need to adjust to your new world number four do not marry a japanese man if you are afraid to be alone yes because most of the times you will be alone in japan because people here are something like um 
individual something like they have their own lives it's something like you mind your own business something like that even if you are friends even if you have friends it's not like it's not the same as the philippine style that people are just one call away no it's not like that number five do not marry a japanese man if you are not punctual <laughs> yes japanese people are very mindful about the time because for them time is gold time is money every ticking of the clock is very important because time is something like they don't have most of the times because they spend their time mostly with working 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 so if ever you get the chance to date a japanese man if ever a japanese man is a giving you time you should grab it and you should consider it is very very important that you should never be late because they hate being late like japanese people are very punctual if ever you have a date at 10 a.m at 9 30 they are already in the meeting place in philippines when i say we'll have a date at 10 a.m 10 a.m that's still the beginning of my preparation <laughs> for like for me to go on a date but that's a big no-no in japan number six do not marry a japanese man if you are a hopeless romantic like me i am a very hopeless romantic before when i was in philippines because i was used to being pursued with flowers chocolates and those stuff but when i came here in japan that's a very very much culture shock for me <laughs> they care they love but not really same as our um, our idea of loving not same idea with the way we make somebody feel gi giddy yeah next do not marry a japanese man if you are a spendthrift kind of girl or something like a money is not an issue kind of girl because money is really an issue for japanese man yes that doesn't mean that they are not generous they are generous but like they need to know they have to know where you have to spend the money the money to the money with spending money should be proper I understand that because most of the times Japanese people spend their time working hard, working early, work up to late at night just to earn money. So that's why money is really an issue for Japanese. One thing that I have learned in Japan that no matter what your relationship is, if you say you borrow money, you have to pay for it because borrow is borrow, not give next do not marry a japanese man if you want to be prioritized in everything because you'll just feel sad or you'll just be disappointed that's what i felt in my first years here in japan because i did not understand their nature of work i was used to be being prioritized in in philippines and something like because in when i was still in philippines like for example there is an emergency or something like we choose or we sacrifice our work for us to tend to that emergency but in japan it's complete different even if you are even if you are in an emergency even if there is something like something that had happened to you that day if they are in the working if they are in their working place in their working hours they really can't prioritize you because that's what i've learned in japan work over everything even if they are sick they still go to work sad but true next do not marry a japanese man if you can't accept that beer is their life yes for philippine filipinos kila is life food is life but in japan beer is life every day they drink beer every time they have a new 
co-workers they have to welcome them with a drinking party every time somebody quits the job they have to also give that person a drinking party every thing Japan is surrounded with so much beer, so much drinking party. <laughs> Last but not the least, do not marry a Japanese man if you are not open to learn to their culture and if you are the kind of person who don't follow rules. Because Japanese people, that's why they are very disciplined because they know how to follow rules. They are fear, they have fear with the government, with the police, yes and also they have their own table manner the toilet papers one the one i told you if you don't know that please check my house tour house tour <laughs> vlog that's where you know about their toilet thing and also when it comes to their work you should also be ready to transfer from one place to another because it's already part or it's already a nature of their work that they don't stay in the same place at a very long time you have to adjust again and again so yeah girls and japanese men i hope i have not offended anybody or any of you with my vlog for today because this is just really according to my own experience and i still have a lot of adjustments i have i still have a lot of things to learn also i am not perfect and i'm not telling you that you have to really have those before you marry a japanese man it actually depends on you and that japanese man that you are about to marry or you have a relationship with it's a matter of adjusting towards each other's culture and love conquers all so thank you so much for watching and i hope you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe With it,